This resource is for our liturgical interpreters. It is the fourth Sunday in Ordinary Time, Cycle B. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to all of the people saying, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen. This is exactly what you requested of the Lord your God at Orab on the day of the assembly when you said, Let us not again hear the voice of the Lord our God, nor see this great fire any more lest we die. And the Lord said to me, This was well said. I will raise up from them a prophet, like you from among their kin, and I will put my words into his mouth. And he shall tell them all that I command him. Whoever will not listen to my words which I speak in my name, I myself will make him answer to it. But if a prophet presumes to speak in my name an oracle that I have not commanded him to speak, or speaks in the name of other gods, he shall die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa, in the desert where your fathers tempted me they tested me though they had seen my works if today you hear his voice harden not your hearts a reading from saint paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I'd like you to be free of anxieties. An unmarried man is anxious about the things of the Lord, how he may please the Lord. But a married man is anxious about the things of the world, how he may please his wife, and he is divided. An unmarried woman or a virgin is anxious about the things of the Lord so that she may be holy in both body and spirit. A married woman, on the other hand, is anxious about things of the world, how she may please her husband. I am telling you this for your own benefit not to impose restraint upon you, 
but for the sake of propriety and adherence to the Lord without distraction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The people who sit in darkness have seen a great light on those dwelling in the land, overshadowed by death. Light has risen. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. They came to Capernaum, and on the Sabbath, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching. For he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come here to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, what is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even unclean spirits and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> 